So we're out on the Yellowstone River again. We're trolling for walleyes. I don't. I probably shouldn't be using this boat in here. I see I need to tend to that rod and we're getting turned sideways because the wind and the current are both coming the same way so I might just need to run the big boulder to stay straight but we're slowly working our way upstream the big motor is going to go idle the tad too fast to keep going upstream straight which is a problem It's still kind of dirty. The wall, I seem to like it when the water was clear. We got to tend to this line. And I'm running a shad wrap across this colored, the Wonder Bread colored walleye diver and like a fire tiger colored flicker shad or some type of tiger or parrot color or something bright. So fishing has been tough. There keeps being wind gusts that keep sucking me off to the side so it's really hard to stay straight and troll. We just caught one sauger earlier, we picked up another sauger here. This one hit the Wonder Bread colored walleye diver. The first was on the crayfish colored shad rip, which I'm not finding in my boat. You can see, I, as soon as I stop paying attention, I start getting crooked from the wind. I need to invest in a boat with auto steer really bad so I can be up to date with fishing. We're hooked up. We're just completing the turn. I see we need to tend to the other bait too. Is this a huge sauger or is this a walleye? This might be a huge sauger. Oh, that is a huge sauger. We'll let this one go. We'll measure though. That's probably like an 18 or 19 inch sauger. That's a big one. Let's get a length on you. 18 and a quarter. That's pretty big for a sauger, actually. We'll let you go, though. I think that requires a shot of bootlegger. This will be good luck. So, let's get a shot of this. Mm. That is some good stuff. We just changed up to the flicker minnow. We're wanting something to go a little deeper, and we got one. Granted, it's not a giant, but it's another fish. The sauger. On the flicker minnow. We just picked up another one in desperation on the rattle tap. I need to pull my line because we're going through like a shallow section of junk. Anyways, at least we caught three fish. One more than yesterday. It's pretty slow. We're going through a narrows right now, so I need to reel in my lines. We just hooked up. We caught a gold eye. It swallowed the hook. I'm probably going to change, take the cat for spade and put on fresh gold eye as soon as I caught one. We got a fish. Anyways, I think it's a, maybe it is another gold eye. Yeah, it's another gold eye. Probably swallowed the hook too. Maybe it didn't. I'll let it go if it didn't swallow it. We just caught another fish. I don't even know what species of fish this is. I should double check. I'm going to let it go. This would be good bait though. So here's a video of me fishing on the Yellowstone River. This is two days. Both days I started off trolling. The first day was a Saturday. It was two Saturdays. It was the last Saturday in August. I trolled for a while. I caught two saugers, one on a crayfish colored shad wrap, 
one on a walleye colored walleye diver. The first fish was going about 1.5 miles per hour speed off ground upstream. The second one was going like three and a half or four speed off ground downstream, which is your GPS speed. And then I tried bottom fishing for a little while and I don't think I caught anything bottom fishing that day. Then on Sunday I went out and I started off trolling and I got the one nice sager when I was turn doing a turn going across the current. And I caught the next sager trolling upstream probably at like one mile an hour because that was the best problem. There was a lot of current and I caught the last sager going downstream on a rattle trap going like six miles an hour. I really don't know why it hit where it hit in like six feet of water. And I was trolling anywhere from like six to 14 feet of water and with my baits probably about just far enough back to where they tick bottom. So that was the key to getting them to fish. And then I tried bottom fishing and I caught a couple gold eyes on a chub but I didn't catch any catfish, but I was getting nibbles on my cup bait. So there are probably some dick catfish there. I have been struggling to catch catfish. So they're very, I was told I should go right at dark. So I probably should just go fishing right at dark.